the battle is God's. And here's where God, what, what I went to God with. And I said, well, God, if the battle is yours, then why did you tell Joshua to walk around the walls? If the battle is already yours, why don't you just get rid of the cancer? If the battle is already yours, why don't you just crumble the walls and don't make them walk around for six days? And then on the seventh day, blow the shofar. If the battle's already yours, why do we have to do anything? If the battle's already yours, why do, why do we have to watch him get spinal taps and take chemo? and feel bad and God spoke to my heart and said everything I do is spiritual and physical up until this point I've just brought water out of a rock up until this point I've just fought, had manna fall from heaven and that's the way our normal life is to be but there are some times that I'm going to do something more than just let you see my miracle. I'm going to let you partner in my miracle because the outcome is greater than what you understand. If you think about, if you think about the first miracle that Jesus did, he turned the water into wine. His mother said to the servants, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Sometimes what he tells us to do makes sense. If you need a harvest, you have to sow a seed. If you want to be happy, rejoice in the Lord always. If you want to walk in blessing, put a guard on your mouth. Sometimes those things just are just common sense. But it doesn't make any sense if the battle is already his, why you have to walk around the wall. It doesn't make any sense if the battle's already his, why do we have to face chemotherapy? There is a revelation that God gave me the battle was already won but he wanted to take them from followers of God to leaders of God and let them experience themselves the battle's already won I believe a thousand and a million percent that for lion the battle is already won but we're going to be able to say to people, God did not only block the bad gene, but our God put a good gene in a place that has never been seen before. It doesn't make sense to walk around the walls. But the Bible says those walls fell down upon themselves and because they were so tall, they were impossible for man to breach. But when man did whatever God said to do, the walls fell, if you read it, it fell upon themselves and literally built a ramp for them to go over and seize the city. Sometimes the battle's already won, but we still have to pick up a rock. But when we throw the rock, the giant's coming down. The battle's already won, but when we get out of a boat and walk on water, the storm is going to stop and he'll meet us on the water. The battle's already won. Jesus could have just said, here's the money for the taxes, but sometimes we got to go fishing. But when we go fishing, there's going to be a miracle in the fish's mouth. Jesus prayed for the blind man 
and he saw slightly, but he said, now go wash in the pool of Bethesda. And when he went and washed the pool of Siloam, and when he washed, his eyes were totally open. The battle is already won, but sometimes we've got to do what God said to do. The woman said, if I could touch the hem of his garment, he said, your faith has made you whole. They said to Jairus, give up. Your daughter's already gone, but Jesus had already touched the woman, and my God is no respecter of persons. Sometimes we got to touch the hem of his garment before the miracle can take place. Sometimes we got to pick up our own bed, and then he gives us a miracle in our legs. Sometimes we got to march around that wall. Sometimes... Sometimes when we've done all we can do to stand, we stand knowing that our God is a faithful and mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Can you say amen? Would you give the Lord a clap offering and just praise him for a moment?